Hey everyone, it's Rachel, and today I'm going to go into 10 useful tips for new guitar players. These tips will cover everything from how you should be practicing guitar in general to things you should be doing every time you pick up a guitar before you even start to play. Even though some of these tips will be a bit more targeted at newer guitar players, they should really apply across the board no matter where you are in your guitar learning journey. So let's get into it. My first tip for new guitar players is to always try to keep practice fun and to work on things that you are personally excited about. In order to improve at guitar, you'll be practicing a lot and the best way to encourage yourself to do so and to be consistent is to be playing things that you really like and are excited Excited to learn. So while it's a great idea at the start to spend some time on the basics like open chords and transitioning between chords and things like that, I think it's also a good idea right from the very start to start incorporating learning songs or parts of songs that you really like so that you're excited to get to practicing. No matter what level you are in your guitar playing, I think it's important to have that balance of both working on some exercises that will help you get better overall, but also making sure from the very start to incorporate these things that are really fun to you. So for example, if you know that your ultimate goal on guitar is to play punk songs, but you're learning the open chords starting out and those songs don't use those chords, it's totally okay and a good idea to start out learning power chords and just learning parts of those songs that you love early on, even if it's not up to speed, just keeping it fun and having fun with it and working towards your goals, your personal goals with guitar is a good idea. Everyone's journey with guitar is going to look a bit different since everyone has different preferences and styles of music they want to play and techniques that they want to learn. And it's okay if your journey looks different than someone else's and your practice sessions look different than someone else's. It's just about making sure you're incorporating what you find fun and exciting into your practice and trying to do that as often as you can. My second tip for new guitar players is that learning guitar is a long and at times difficult process with ups and downs and it's okay to be frustrated. Progress with learning guitar isn't always a linear thing and there may be times that you feel like you aren't making a lot of progress, but if you look back at a larger scale, you are definitely making progress and your practice is paying off. Every new guitar player started where you are now. At one point, every one of your guitar heroes had difficulty holding down the strings and fretting notes cleanly, but if you put in the practice, you can get where you want to be. My third tip for people learning to play guitar is to slow things down. And by that I mean when you're learning new songs or parts of songs on the guitar, it's a great idea to learn the songs at slower speeds and slowly increment them as you get the riffs down. When I'm learning a song, I'll learn it part by part and work on each part individually. So once I've learned the notes for a particular part of the song, I will loop that part on repeat at whatever speed is currently comfortable for me, and that could be 50% or even lower, depending on the song. And once I'm comfortable at that speed, I will increase the speed of the song by 5% and then play along to it until I'm comfortable at that speed, and then continue the process until I get to 100% speed. If at any point it feels too fast and it feels like I'm messing up more than I should be, I'll decrement the speed back a speed or two until I'm comfortable there again, and then bring the speed back up. Sometimes I will go up to 100% speed even if I'm not comfortable yet, just to get a sense of how it will actually feel before going back to a lower speed. Overall, this is a great way to learn songs, just starting slow and incrementing the speed, and something I'd recommend to all new players starting out. One other thing to note here for newer players is that if you really like a riff, but you don't think you can actually get it up to 100% speed, that is okay. You can still learn a lot from learning a riff, even if it's at a slower speed than it actually is in the real song. When I was first starting out, I learned a bunch of riffs that were far outside of my actual skill level, but they were still fun to play and I was able to learn them at a slower speed and pick up techniques from them. So there's no need to shy away from riffs that might be a bit too fast for you right now. You can still learn them wherever you are in your guitar playing at whatever speed is comfortable for you right now and then maybe come back to them later when you're further along in your guitar playing. My third tip is to practice using your ear. So this means practicing, figuring out playing music you hear on your guitar just by listening. Now this will likely be pretty difficult starting out. It can be difficult translating what you hear here onto your guitar, but it is a great thing to start doing early on because it'll be super useful for you later on in your playing. For example, for myself, I've been working on this skill for quite a while now, and now I'll pretty frequently learn things almost entirely by ear or by a combination of listening and looking at videos of people playing whatever I'm trying to learn. In many instances, this makes learning things a lot easier and a lot faster, and it also opens up other possibilities in your playing, like covering songs that maybe have no lessons or no tabs, or just translating ideas you hear in your head onto the guitar 
for writing music. So when you're starting out trying to learn this skill, what I'd recommend is just starting with a very simple melody that you know by heart, like Happy Birthday or Mary Had a Little Lamb, and just kind of randomly picking out notes on the guitar until you figure out the melody. You can even start out just on a single string if it makes it easier. So for example, let's say I was trying to pick out the melody for Happy Birthday starting here. What I might do now is just kind of sing the song, even though I'm not a good singer, to figure out whether the notes are going up or down or staying the same. Happy, that's staying the same, happy birth. So birth is going up, so maybe I'd try the next note. That doesn't sound right, so let's try the next one after that. That sounds right. And you can kind of just sing along and pick out the notes depending on whether you think they're higher or lower to start trying to figure out things by ear on guitar. Eventually you'll be able to learn parts of your favorite songs just by listening to them and it is super satisfying. My fifth tip when you're learning guitar is to always take breaks when you're experiencing any pain. Now by this I don't mean the normal pain that you might have when you're learning to play guitar when you haven't built up calluses and your fingertips hurt a bit from pushing on the strings. That is normal and some level of pain there is to be expected, but if you're experiencing any sharp pain in your wrist or in your hand, or if your fingertips really hurt to the point where it was really uncomfortable playing, you shouldn't just try to push past it. I've struggled a bit with this in the past because I've been trying to record a cover or get something down. I would try to ignore the pain I was having in my wrist or things like that, but it was always a bad idea. Every time I did that, I would be out of commission for a week or more compared to just taking a day or two off of guitar. Pain is your body trying to tell you that something is wrong and you shouldn't just ignore it. As I said, a bit of pain is normal when you're building up calluses on your fingers, so you'll have to figure out for yourself what level is actually damaging versus just what's getting used to playing on guitar, but you need to figure that out because you don't want to have a long-term injury that prevents you from playing for months rather than just taking a little bit of time away from guitar and letting things heal. I've even had a nerve injury in my middle finger on my fretting hand that's required me to take multiple weeks off of guitar every time it's come back up, but I have to do that because I don't want it to get worse and I know that if I played through the pain, it would end poorly for me. Going along a bit with that last one, my sixth tip for players learning guitar is to make sure to always stretch and always warm up before getting into practicing. As I've mentioned, I've had some pain in my wrists in the past, especially in my fretting hand wrist, but since I started doing wrist stretches every time before I play, that has basically gone away. One stretch I'll always do before I start is I'll put up my arm like this with my fingers kind of perpendicular to the rest of my arm and just feel the stretch. I'll turn my head this way to feel it a bit more and just kind of rotate my wrists back and forth slowly and hold that for 10 seconds or so. And I'll do that in both of my wrists. Another thing I'll always do before I get into any serious practice is do a chromatic scale run up and down the guitar neck just to get my fingers moving and get comfortable with playing. So something like this. And I'll do that all the way up to the 12th fret on the guitar. Usually I'll go kind of fast just to get things moving, but you can also go slower or play along to a metronome. Either way, it's just a good way to get your fingers moving and get your picking hand warmed up as well. My seventh piece of advice and something that I personally wish I had focused on more earlier in my playing is to always try to use the minimum amount of force necessary to hold down the guitar strings. So by this, I mean if you're playing a note or a chord, you only want to use the exact amount of force that you need to make them ring out clearly and no more. Now this is just really important to keep in mind when you're playing because having too much tension and force in your hand when it's not necessary will lead to longer term injuries that you want to avoid and overall your playing will just be a lot easier and more seamless if you can play using the minimal amount of pressure necessary. So to work on this, what I recommend doing is practicing picking a note with the most minimal amount of force possible. So just resting your finger on a string and you get a muted note to start with, but then slowly applying more pressure until you get a clean note and continuing to pick until you get that clean note. Every guitar is set up differently. So different guitars might require a different amount of pressure to get a clean note. But if you are realizing that you have to put a lot of pressure on the strings to get a clean note, you might want to consider getting your guitar set up and lowering the string height or action on the guitar. Especially on electric guitars, it should be pretty easy to hold down the strings and it shouldn't require a ton of force. My eighth tip for guitar learners is to work on exercises or songs of multiple difficulties at the same time. Now this kind of goes back to the first tip, which is to keep your practice sessions fun. 
If you're learning something that's too hard for you and maybe pushing you too far, you might end up getting kind of stuck and unhappy with your playing. But if at the same time you're learning something fun that's kind of more within your current skill level, maybe a fun song that isn't too hard for you to play, you can learn something new while also still building your skills and improving by working on the harder thing at the same time. I find having multiple things that I'm currently working on to bounce back and forth between depending on how I'm feeling is a great way to avoid burnout and keep practice fun and keep me wanting to practice. It's definitely important to work on harder things so you can get better, but if it gets too difficult, bouncing back to something a bit more fun and a bit more within your current skill level is a great way to keep things entertaining. Plus, you can always learn something from easier things as well, whether it's thinking about how the song is structured or just really honing in and mastering an easier technique. My ninth tip is that consistency is key. When you have limited time and you're learning guitar and cementing new skills and new muscle memory, I find it's a lot better to practice for multiple shorter sessions over the course of a week compared to just one or two longer sessions. I personally try to practice for at least an hour a day, but there are definitely days where I don't hit that and just practice for a little bit, and some days where I don't get to practice at all, but if I can, I will always try to get in a little bit of practice, and I think that has helped me improve a lot at my guitar playing. It's okay if you only have a few minutes to practice a day. If you put in that consistent practice, you will see progress long term. But of course, if your only option is to play once or twice a week, that is totally fine. You will make progress doing that as well. Just if you have the choice, I think that shorter, consistent sessions is a good way to do it long term. And my tenth and final tip is to record yourself playing guitar. This is something I've done since I started playing, and it's been awesome to be able to look back at my progress over the years and see how far I've come. Recording yourself playing can also be a great way to analyze your playing a bit more and maybe see some areas that you might be able to improve more in that you wouldn't recognize while you're playing in the moment. So once in a while when you're practicing, maybe just grab your phone and record your playing, and it will be a lot of fun to look back at in the future. Having this footage can also be a great motivator if you're maybe feeling down or frustrated with your playing, you just look back and see how far you've come. So those are my top 10 tips for people learning to play guitar. As I said though, I think these tips really apply across the board. They're things that I personally try to keep in mind when I'm practicing, and they could be useful for pretty much anyone at any skill level when they're practicing guitar. Now since this video is only 10 tips, I definitely didn't touch on everything that would be useful to know if you're learning guitar. So if you have any other tips you'd like to share, definitely leave those in the comments. If you're just starting out on guitar, I hope that you are having an awesome time so far and that you'll continue to have a great time learning the instrument. It's just a lot of fun. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.